Hey, this is Chris Goff, and in this training video, I'm gonna teach you how to purchase the property and use renting the property as your exit strategy. So as we scroll down here, you're gonna have, number one, your after repaired value. We have it at 415. Again, this would be based on comps. Our estimated purchase price is going to be 285. Now to get to this particular purchase price, I went through step four and went through the all cash offer formula. So I know that if the owner took that offer, then this is what it would be. And now I can take this and analyze these multiple scenarios. And in this um, training video, we're gonna use rent as our, our strategy. And a lot of people use rental properties for more long-term wealth. So square footage, give you the cost per square footage. Estimated repair cost here, I put 48,000. Again, you can go through these hover question marks um, as you go down to explain each item here. Hedge expense is that buffer expense in case you fixed, uh, miscalculated your analysis and repairs. So I put 10%, so that would be 4,800. Estimated repair period, I have approximately two months that we're gonna fix up the home. Other costs are gonna be holding costs. Now, if you hit this plus sign, you can go in and get some more defined cost um, as well as our closing cost. You could find that individually down there as well. I'm just putting in a total in this example. Property insurance, 1,100, 4,500 for taxes, HOA dues, 200. In financing, I'm actually gonna buy this with cash. Now you do have multiple different ways that you can finance this. You could use hard money, private money, one of my favorites, and fixed arm interest. So if I were to go to um, hard money as an example, you can go down and fill out that as well. All right, so we're using rent as the analysis here. So monthly operating income, um, I'm going to put in 2000 You can actually go in and even have multi-units um, and calculate. Or if you're you know, renting in a college area, maybe you rent each bedroom. You can analyze that as well in multiple different ways. Um, estimated vacancy rate, I put 10%, and then monthly operating expenses. Again, you have so many different pieces here to this that you can really fine tune it as well as adding additional columns here if need be. I just put in a total of 500. I can then go through my analysis at the very bottom and see my annual cash flow is 9,800 and my cash on cash return is only 2.84%. Um, so I may use this analysis in comparison to maybe what if I lease optioned it? What if I seller financed it? What if I sold it? So it's a great way to analyze properties in multiple different ways. I can then print this. I can save this analysis to come back to and so forth. So help this I hope this training video helped and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the next one.